Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel, I'm Holly Honjo. If this is your first time stopping by, I'm on a weight loss journey to lose around 90 pounds. <laughs> you know, I really would have loved this video to be a woohoo, grand reveal, I've lost 50 pounds and that's why I haven't been on because I wanted to surprise you all, but that's not the way generally the world works. <laughs> And um, it wasn't one of those, but this really is a, a hopeful video for me. I've come back and I feel like I'm stronger than ever. Um, 2020 is going to be a great year. And I hope it is for you guys too. Yes, it has been a while. And um, here's what's been going on with me. Um... So I think it's been about three months. I, I think the last um, film I did was in October. Actually, so that's almost four months, I guess, maybe. Um, I was losing weight steadily and I was checking in every week. And then holidays kind of hit and I completely went off the rails. Um, I was drinking a lot, basically almost every day drinking, um, eating, cause you know, it's the holidays, woo! Um, and unbelievably my weight, it didn't even creep up. My weight rocketed up to 235 pounds. And then I felt too ashamed, honestly, to come back on and tell you that I <laughs> was weighing in at 235 pounds because that is the heaviest I have ever been in my life. Um, and I, yeah, um, and I, I just didn't want to come on here and, and say that while I was 235 pounds. So that was back in January when I kind of weighed myself after the holidays. And since then I have now gotten back down to 200, I'm around 222 pounds. So kind of like back to the beginning again. Um, but I'm still keeping on, keeping on. Um, here are a few things that I've been doing um, a little bit differently. Number one, I've upped my water intake. I've been trying to drink around 96 fluid ounces of water every day. Um, and I love drinking tea. Um, I have actually some tea in here. I love making this thing. This makes, what's two times 16? Oh no, 12, wait, 16, oh gosh, 40, 48 ounces, oh no, uh, 32 ounces, um, okay, so 32 ounces of water each time, um, so I make, like to make tea in here and I drink a lot of tea throughout the day, I also download an app where I can uh, tally how much water I've been drinking each day and keep a record on it. So that's kind of fun. And it also sends me reminders every hour that I need to drink water. Um, so that's been really helpful for me to um, keep me, you know, upping the water. Um, I've also found that when I drink after meals, if I'm still feeling hungry, I'll try and drink a tea um, and that helps me feel a lot better. Number two, what else have I been doing? Oh, dry January, woohoo! I gave up drinking for um, January. So um, I actually had my first drink, I think last weekend, last Friday, oh, Valentine's Day. Um, I actually had a drink on Valentine's Day. Um, but that was the first drink I'd had in 40 something days. And I'm now back on with the non-drinking again. Um, I just feel like drinking wasn't really doing me any favours um, and I do have a bit of a tendency to overdo things when I drink so I figured it's best to just try not to drink at all really um, and um, exercise unfortunately has not been a thing that I've been doing recently um, the other week when I was at the park with my kids I was on the swing and I put my foot down and then my foot kind of like bent back on the swing and I kind of sprained my right ankle pretty badly. That was about three weeks ago now and 
it's still giving me trouble. Um, it, it doesn't hurt when I walk on it, but it still kind of aches sometimes. So I have not been able, not feeling like I've been able to get back into exercising. Um, I am walking my dog every day, but that's sort of a 20 minute, 30 minute walk. And I have slightly felt that sometimes um, if I've walked on my leg a bit too much, it then does start giving me trouble. Or like when I go up and down the stairs in my house, um, so it's, that's kind of annoying because I would have liked to do a bit more exercise, um, but we'll get there. Um, another thing that I have also started doing for, um, positive is yoga. Um, I have tried yoga a few times beforehand, but I could just never wrap my head around the meditation part, I guess, or kind of the sitting there and breathing in and breathing out and letting everything go out of your mind. Um, I'd sit there thinking about, you know, what's for dinner? Um, or, you know, what do I need to go shopping for? Groceries, what have I got to do? Um, but I got a group on for a local yoga place that my friend is actually teaching at. And I started going there to support her and, um, I'm enjoying it, I guess. Um, it's the most I've ever stuck at going to a yoga. I'm trying to go twice a week because um, those are the only two days I can make. Um, and I'm going to be honest, it's been kind of eye opening. I knew some of the maneuvers, uh, maneuvers, maneuvers would be a little bit tricky. But I'm actually in a um, beginner class, so it's really set up for uh, very easy beginner yoga moves. Um, it's not about competing to, you know, how many calories can we do this session or who can hold their pose the longest. It's just a very, very easy, gentle type of yoga, which is great for a beginner like me. However, being that I'm so freaking fat, I physically cannot actually do some of the movements because my fat is literally in the way. It's not even about my flexibility. I just can't get into that position because my stomach's in the way. Um, and that's something I've kind of found difficult to come to terms with, um, which may sound weird, but I, I kind of had always thought that I wouldn't be able to do it because I wasn't flexible, but it's not that I'm not flex. Well, I don't know if I'm not flexible. I mean, I'm not very flexible, but I don't know if me not being flexible is the main reason or if I'm just too fat to actually do it. Um, and, um, you know, I felt a little bit embarrassed actually at times in the class. It is a small class, there's only generally about three or four other people there, but I feel embarrassed that I'm so fat that I cannot physically do it. Um, but I'm not going to let that stop me and I'm not going to let that hold me back. You know, I've been the only fatty at a gym before and I didn't care, I just kept on doing my thing. And it's the same with this yoga class. I'm going to do it. Damned if I'm the only fat one there. It is what it is. I am a fatty right now. Um, and I've got to say, I've actually um, found that over the weeks, I've, um, I've actually been able to do a few more of the movements. You know, my fat is kind of shifting I guess a little bit or I'm I am getting a little bit more flexible which is awesome so I'm already seeing results um downward dog still is a pain in the butt to get into um uh, and you know some of the stretches it's kind of embarrassing that I can't even grab my leg behind my back um but we've all got to start off somewhere right Another thing that I have been doing as well since January is moderation, meal moderation, which to me means no seconds. In general, I feel like me and my husband, we do eat kind of healthily, apart from when I'm binge eating. Um, but apart from that, the meals that I prepare for our family 
generally are quite healthy and um, you know have got veggies I do still try to stay somewhat low carb but my main rule is no second helping so once I've dished up my first plate of dinner not my first once I've dished up dinner that's it and if I'm still hungry afterwards um, I'll drink some tea or something and I do find I prefer to drink a nice warm cup of tea rather than um, like a glass of cold water I just love tea I mainly drink decaf tea because uh, I don't want to drink too much caffeine by eating my meals in moderation or moderating my food I'm really just trying to you know keep the calories lower by not in you know that's one of my one of my downfalls has been having second helpings third generally second sometimes thirds um, of meals so I've just really tried not to go for that so far for me 2020 really has felt like a year of change um, emotionally and mentally I've really been kind of doing a lot of self-reflection since I last spoke to you um, and really want to get every aspect of my life in shape um, so both metaphorically and literally speaking um, I feel like I've been trying to implement small habits into my daily life which will then turn into big changes for me um, so for example you know drinking water eating in moderation doing yoga which by the way I know yoga is a kind of exercise um, and I guess I should count it as exercise I am getting out and moving um, but what Previously, when I was talking about exercise, I'm kind of thinking like weightlifting or a bit more cardio exercise. But all these things just are, are, are small steps towards a better me. And I'm really kind of enjoying this journey that I'm taking right now. And yeah, damn, it's slow. I'm losing, you know, about one pound a week. But slow and steady wins the race. And I promise you, I will get there. Thank you for staying with me on this journey. I promise I'm going to stick at it. I'm going to be updating more regularly. I'm going to be letting you know what's working for me, what isn't. So please, please, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you like what you saw. I also just posted a little torrid haul that I did the other day. If you want to go check that one out, um, I'll put a little link up above. Um, okay, I will see you guys very soon. Thank you. Bye.